Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. Today we are here to discuss the second week June current affairs. Let's start with the questions here. The first question here, who has been conferred with the Maldives highest honor rule of Nishant Izuddin, which is accorded to foreign dignitaries? And the answer here is, it's Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India, right? And this is the highest honor from the Maldives. And what is the capital of Maldives? It's male. What is the currency? It's Rufia. Right? And who is the current president of Maldives? It's Ibrahim Mohammed Soli. Right? Now the next question, who led the Indian delegation in G20 ministerial meeting on trade and digital economy held in Japan? And the answer here is, it's Pius Goel. And he is the commerce and industry minister. Apart from that, he has taken the responsibility of railways and he belongs to Maharashtra. Right? And if you look at the option here, the first option is given Mahindranath Pandey. He is the Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and he belongs to UP, Chandoli of UP. Right? His constituency is Chandoli. And the third option is, it's Ramesh Pokhriyal. He is the Human Resource Development Minister and he belongs to Haridwar, Uttarakhand. UK I'm writing, it's not United Kingdom, it's Uttarakhand. Now the fourth option is, it's Prala Joshi. He is the Minister of Coal and Mines and he belongs to Dharwad, Karnataka. Right, the last fifth option is, it's Arvind Ganpat Savant and he is the Ministry of Heavy Industry and Public Enterprises. So he belongs to Maharashtra. Right, now we'll move to the next question. Who among the following launched Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 League in New Delhi? And the answer here is, it's Hadip Singh Puri. Right, and he has taken the independent charge of housing and urban affairs ministers and also with that civil aviation and commerce and industry minister, right? And if you look at the other options, this is the right time to recollect who belongs to which department of the cabinet and state ministers, right? Now if you look at the option, the first option is given is Prahlad Joshi and the second option is given is Nirmala Sitaram, she is the finance minister and she is from Rajya Sabha Karnatak. And the fourth one is it's Amit Shah, uh, he is Home Minister and he is from Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. And the next one is it's Nitin Gadkari, he is the Minister of Road and Transport, also Ministry of Micro, Small, Medium Enterprises and he belongs to Nagpur, Maharashtra. And the last one is it's Prakash Javedkar, he is the Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, also he is the Minister of IB and he belongs to Rajya Sabha of Madhya Pradesh. Now the next question, India's first dinosaur museum park was inaugurated in which state? And the answer is, it's in Gujarat. What's the capital of Gujarat? It's Gandhinagar. And who is the chief minister? It's V. Rupani. And governor is Om Prakash Kohli. Right? Now the next question, the Indian Air Force has signed 300 crore rupees deal with the Dash government to buy as many as 100 spice bombs. And the answer here is, it's Israel. Right? What's the capital of Israel? It's Jerusalem. And uh, currency is Sekel. Right? And apart from that, we can have a look. Who is the chief of Indian Air Force? It's Birendra Singh Dhanova. Right? 
The next question here, which bank was fined rupees 2 crore by the Reserve Bank of India for not furnishing details about the shareholdings of its majority stakeholders and its plans for complying with the state dilution norms? And the answer here is, it's Kotak Mahindra Bank, right? This bank was fined rupees 2 crore and where is the headquarter of this bank? It's in Mumbai. And chairman name is Prakash Apte, right? He is the chairman of Kotak Mahindra Bank and CEO is Uday Kotak. Right, now the next question. Sweden's teenager climate activist Dash was awarded a prestigious Amnesty International Prize for raising climate change. And the answer here is, is Greta Thunberg. She is only 16 years old and she fought against the peril of global warming. Right? And this Amnesty International, it is a London based com organization which focuses on human rights. Now, what is the capital of Sweden? It's Stockholm and currency is Krona. Now, the next question here. Now, who was the chief of Jammu Kashmir Bank? Parvez Ahmad was the chief of Jammu Kashmir Bank and his tenure was about to complete in another three months. But he found to be allegedly involved in corruption and nepotism. So because of that, Anti-Corruption Bureau took action and they removed him from that position. And R.K. Chibar, who was serving as an executive president, now he became the chief of Jammu Kashmir Bank for another three months. Right? Now the next question. Who has been appointed as B BCCI's electoral officer? And the answer here is, it's N. Gopal Swami right he has been appointed as the electoral officer for board of control for cricket in india and he also served as the chief election commissioner from 2006 to 2009 right now who is the current chief election commissioner it's sunil arora Right, and he is the 23rd Chief Election Commissioner. Right, now the next question. Who has won the men's 2019 French Open? And the answer here is, it's Rafael Nadal from Spain. He is from Spain and he has won the French Open. What is the capital of Spain? It's Madrid. And currency is Euro. French Open is also known as Roland Garros. Right? And it was held in Paris and this is the 123rd edition of this match. In a year there are like four Grand Slams and those are according to their sequence. The first happened that is Australian Open in the middle of January something and the second one is french open that happens around may to june and the third one is wimbledon that usually happens in the month of july to august and the last one is us open that happened in the month of august to september right now the next question who has won the women's 2019 french open and the answer here is it's ashley Barty. right and she is from australia What is the capital of Australia? It's Canberra. Right? And currency is dollar. And who is the Prime Minister of Australia? It's Scott Morrison. Right? Now the next question. In International Hockey Federation, Men's Hockey Series, Japan defeated which country? And the answer is, it's Mexico. This final match was held in Bhubaneswar, Odisha and Japan defeated Mexico here and this is the competition also served as the qualifier for the Hockey World Cup and Olympic Games, right? Now the next question, who has appointed as the leader of the Rajya Sabha a position occupied previously by the BJP leader Arun Jaitley? And the answer here is, it's Thawar Chand Galot, right? And if you look at the option, Gajendra Sikh Sakhawat, he is the Union Minister of Jal Sakti. Right? Recently we have formed this Jal Sakti. Now the next option, Sripat Naik, and he is the Minister of Ayush. 
The fourth option is given Arjun Munda. He is the Union Minister of Tri Tribal Affairs. And the last one is Ramesh Pukhriyal. We have already discussed just now that is he is the Ministry of HRD, Human Resource Development, right? Now the next question here. Which bank has set up a new marketing outfit called Destination The Home Shop? And the answer here is it's State Bank of India. And it was established in the year 1955. And who is the chairperson? It's Rajneesh Kant. All right. Now the next question. What is India's rank in annual global peace index 2019? And the answer is it's 141. So earlier India's rank was 136. Now it has slipped down to 6th position out of 163. Right. So it was in the year 2018. Now India's rank is it's 141 out of 163 country. And Ireland has topped this list at the first position. Right. Now we'll move to the next question. Who has been appointed as the Prime Minister of Thailand? And the answer here is it's Pratyut Chan Ocha. And if you look at the option, here James Marape, he is the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea. Recently it was in news. P N G. It's Papua New Guinea Prime Minister. And the third option is Laurentino Corgio and he is the new president of Panama, right? This is how we can recollect. President of Panama. And the fourth option is, is Cyril Ramaphosa and he is the president of South Africa. Right? And what is the capital of Thailand? It's Bangkok and currency is Bharat. Now the next question, who has been appointed as the Interim Central Vigilance Commission? And the answer is, it's Sarath Kumar. And he has been authorized to act as the CVC until the appointment of the new CVC, right? Now the next question, which technology giant has announced its first interactive game show in India named as title Confetti? Right, and the answer here is it's none other than Facebook. Who is the head of Facebook? It's Mark Zuckerberg, and where is the headquarter of Facebook? It's in California. So, recently, Facebook was in news for introducing new technology farm that is named as Libra, which was like a secret project, and one more thing also like some kind of currency, right. And this announcement was made in the summit which was held in Mumbai, Maharashtra, right? And this is the first official show which was held in India. Now we'll move to the next question. Which of the following has become the world's most valuable brand according to the brand Z top 100 most valuable global brand ranking in 2019? And the answer is it's Amazon, right? And it has surpassed Apple and Google. So Amazon has 315.5 billion dollar turnover, right? And whereas Apple has occupied second position with 309.5 billion and Google has occupied third position with the turnover of 309 billion dollar, right? Now then, now we can have a discussion like who is the CEO of Amazon? It's Jeff Bezos, right? Now the next question, who is the head of the committee that has been constituted by RBI to examine the entire gamut of ATM charges and fees? And the answer is, is VG Kanan, right? He has been appointed as the head of that committee. And RBI has constituted six member panel to review this ATM interchange fee structure and VG Kanan is heading that one. And this panel will review all over the pattern, pattern of usage of ATMs by card holders and they will assess the impact. If any changes required, they will work on that, right? Now the next question is, 
International Center for Automotive Technology has released the India's first type approval certificate for dash norms for the two wheeler segment in New Delhi and the answer is it's Bharat stage 6 right and this is going to be implemented with the effect from 1st April 2020 and what is this Bharat stays emission standards and these are the emission standards which are formed by government of India to regulate the output of air pollutants that comes out from the engines of two-wheeler vehicles right now the next question which committee has recommended the changes in intercredit agreement and the answer is it's Sasat committee right so this committee was proposed by the panel led by Punjab National Bank Chairman Sunil Mehta. He has proposed this committee to address the bad loans in Indian banking sector, right? So what are the category like in bad loans up to 50 crore has to be managed at bank level and whereas if it go beyond 50 crore that is like 50 to 500 crore then the bank will enter with this intercreditor agreement, right? Now the next question, which union ministry has amended the Foreigners Order 1964 and has empowered the district magistrates in all states and union territories to set up tribunals to decide whether a person staying illegally in India is a foreigner or not? And the answer is, it's Ministry of Home Affairs. So who is the Ministry of Home Affairs? It's Amit Shah. And he belongs to which constituency? So he belongs to Gandhinagar. Right? Now we'll move to the next question. India and DAS will cooperate in the setting up of a National Maritime Heritage Museum at Lothal in Gujarat. And the answer is, it's Portugal. Right? India and Portugal will cooperate in setting up of Heritage Museum in Gujarat. So what is the aim of that? So it will showcase and preserve India's rich and diverse maritime heritage. Now what is the capital of Portugal? It's Lisbon and currency is Euro. Right? Now the next question, which country will provide up to 7 lakhs euros for railway station development in India? And the answer is it's France. So Indian Railway Station Development Corporation has entered a tri-party agreement with the French Railways. So they are going to provide like 7 lakhs euros for the development of Indian railway systems. Right? Now the next question here. Which ministry has instituted the Antarashtra Yoga Divas Media Samman to mark the contribution of media in spreading the message of yoga? And the answer here is, it's Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. So who is the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting? It's Prakash Javedkar. And try to recollect his constituents, right? Now we'll move to the next question. What is India's expected GDP growth rate in 2019-20 according to Goldman Sachs? And the answer here is, it's 7.2%. So what is this Goldman Sachs? This is an American multinational investment bank and a financial services company and this headquarter is located in New York. Right? And who is the CEO of this Goldman Sachs bank? It's David M. Solomon. He is the CEO of Goldman Sachs. Right? Now the next question. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the DAS for the data exchange between the two regulatory organizations. And the answer is, it's SEBI, right? That is Security Exchange Board of India and headquarters is located in Mumbai. And it was established in the year 1988. And who is the chairman of SEBI? It's Ajay Tyagi. He is the chairman of SEBI, right? Now the next question, who has been named as the marketing head of the Bharat Pay, a fintech company? And the answer is, it's Avishek Shah, right? And recently we came across this Bharat Pay. Who was the brand ambassador for this? It's 
सलमान खान राइट एंड सो हु इज अभिषेक शाह He is the former IKEA marketing leader who has a big role in establishing IKEA in India. And IKEA was established last year in India. So IKEA is a Swedish company, and it's the, that is the world's largest furniture retail since 2018. Right? Now the next question: Who was sworn in as Chief Justice of Delhi High Court on June 7, 2019? And the answer is it's Dhiruvai Narayan Bhai Patel. right he has been sworn in as the chief justice of delhi high court and who is the governor of delhi it's anil baijal and who is the chief minister of delhi it's arvind kejriwal right now the next question which country will host the afc asia cup 2023 and the answer is it's china right what is the capital of china it's beijing and what is the currency it's renmin now we'll move to the next question Who has won 2019 Canadian Grand Prix? And the answer is it's Lewis Hamilton, guys. Right? And this is the seventh time he is getting this award. And what is the capital of Canada? It's Ottawa. And currency is dollar. Right. Now the next question: Who was awarded 54th Gyan Peeth Award for his contribution to the enrichment of Indian literature in English? And the answer is it's Amitav Ghosh. So it is the highest literary award in India and presented by the Bharatiya Gyan Peeth. And this is given only to the Indian citizen and not posthumously. So earlier English language was not considered for the award, but after 49th Gyan Peeth Award, English language has been added to the list of languages. Right? Now the next question here: Name the deceased actor, play writer, and filmmaker who won the Gyan Peeth Award in 1998 and Padma Sri in 1974 and Padma Bhushan in 1992 for literature. And the answer is it's Girish Karna. So if you look at the third option here named as Crazy Mohan he was also in news recently because he was a Tamil writer comedian and actor who passed away in Chennai Now we'll move to the next question Pazavilla Rameshan who passed away in Thiruvananthapuram was a dash and the answer is he was a poet right so he is a recipient of kerala sahitya academy for 2019 and also he has written many songs in malayalam movies now the next question which city has organized gandhi cycle rally for peace to commemorate the 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi and the answer is it's riyadh right now the next question How many Indian companies have figured in Forbes magazine's list of the world's 2000 largest public companies? And the answer here is it's 57. Right? So 57 Indian companies are in Forbes magazine and among that we can have some of the companies like Reliance Industry, TCS, ONGC, ICIC Bank, then HDFC Bank. These are included in this 57 companies and HDFC is ranked 332. Right? And according to that Forbes magazine, USA has occupied first position with 575 companies. Right? Five seventy-five companies of USA are included in Forbes magazine, and the next position is occupied by China with three not nine companies, and the third one is Hong Kong with two twenty-three companies. Right now, the next question. Cancer hit badminton star Lee Chong Wei announced his retirement and he belongs to which country the answer is he belongs to Malaysia so what is the capital of Malaysia it's Kuala Lumpur and what is the currency of Malaysia it's ringgit now move to the next question which automobile company that has won a gold award in south africa and the answer is it's mahindra and mahindra limited 
right and it has earned this gold award for its performance in meeting the level of satisfaction among all its network of dealers and the manner of allocation he did for the vehicles to those dealers right and it has been in south africa for past 16 years and it has received the award from the country's national automobile dealers association that is nada right so what is the full form of nada it's national automobile dealers association right now we'll move to the next question now what is the india's rank amongst the recipient of fti in 2018 according to unique tats world investment report 2019 and the answer here is it's 10th position right so india is on 10th position so India enlisted among top 20 host com economics in FDI flow in 2018 and it is it stands on 10th place it grew by 6% to USD 42 billion in 2018 right and the US and China both have continued top recipients and this unique tag that is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development was established in the year 1964. Right? And it is a part of the United States Secretariat which is dealing with the trade, investment and development issues. Right? And where is the headquarter of this? Headquarter is in Geneva. Right? Now the next question. Which state government has launched the pink Sarathi vehicle for the safety of women passengers? And the answer is, it's Karnataka. Right? And what is the capital of Karnataka? It's Bangalore. And who is the chief minister of Karnataka? It's Kumar Swami. And governor is Vajuvai Valla. Right? Now the next question. India is to launch DAS its first mission to study the sun in 2020 and the answer is it's Aditya L1. Now we'll move to the next question. World's athletics governing body the IAAF is to rebrand as DASH and the answer is it's World Athletics right earlier it was named as IAAF that is International Association of Athletics Federation and now it it has renamed as World Athletics. Where is the headquarter of this IAF? It is in Monaco. Right? This is in Monaco. Now we'll move to the next question. Who is to be honored with the Danny Kai Humanitarian Award by UNICEF's American chapter at the Snowflake Ball in December 2019? And the answer is, it's Priyanka Chopra. She is the ambassador of UNICEF. What is the full form of UNICEF? It's United Nations International Child's Emergency Fund. Where is the headquarter of this? This is located in New York. And established in the year 1946. Right? Now the next question. Who is the only Indian on the Forbes World's highest paid athletics list in 2019? And the answer is, it's Virat Kohli. And he ranked 100 position and he is the only Indian in the Forbes list of highest paid athletics. And his earnings is, is around like estimated earnings is 25 million dollar. Right? And this list was headed by Barcelona and Argentina's football superstar that is Lionel Messi. Right? And this list is headed by Barcelona and Argentina football superstar Lionel Messi. Now the next question. Who has been appointed as the principal secretary to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi? And the answer is, it's Nipendra Mishra, right? He has been appointed as the principal secretary to the Prime Minister. We'll move to the next. The Reserve Bank of India will infuse Dash into the financial system through bond purchase under the open market operation. And the answer is, it's 12,500 crore. Where is the headquarter of RBI? It's in Mumbai. It was established in the year 1935. And who is the governor of RBI? It's Saktikan Das. And there are like four deputy governors, right? Now the next question here. The government has reduced the total rate 
of the contribution made by workers and employers towards the employee's state incidence that is ESI scheme to DASH and the answer here is it's four percentage. So this is the first time over two decades like it was earlier 6.5 percentage and now it has reduced to four percentage. So earlier like the workers monthly salary goes towards USA like around 4.75 percent of worker salary goes to ASI whereas the employee's contribution was 1.75 right and it was all total like 6.5 percent now it has reduced to 4 percentage and now the employee's contribution will be 3.25 percent and employee's contribution will be 0.75 percent right so all total it will be percent now the next question here among 288 movies from over the 29 countries four Indian movies to be screened at South Korea's film festival 2019 which among the given movie has not been selected and the answer is it's accidental prime minister so who has written accidental prime minister it's written by Sanjay Baru right he has written this book of Manmohan Singh and this is the movie which was not been selected for the South Korean film festival. So apart from this, all the, these four movies have been selected for the South Korean film festival, right? And what is the capital of South Korea? It's Seoul and currency is South Korean own, right? Now we'll move to the next question. World Day against Child Labor is observed every year on which date? And the answer is it's on June 12. Now we'll move to the next question. Every year World Donor Day is observed on which date? And the answer is it's on June 14. The theme was Save Plot for All. right and uh, who is the host country for this world blood donor day it was rwanda it is the host country and what is the capital of this kigali is the capital and whereas the currency is franc right now the next question World Oceans Day is observed every year on which date? And the answer is it's June 8. And what is the theme of this World Ocean Day? It's gender and the ocean. Right, this is the theme of World Ocean Day. And with this we have done with the second week June current affairs. Thank you.